Hi, in this video we're going to write the deck class, the next part of our blackjack game. So here are our classes, the card class, the deck class, the hand class, and the game class. So we've just completed card. So let's do a quick overview of the deck class. A deck class should have 52 cards, like a standard deck, be able to shuffle itself, be able to deal a card by removing the first card, and be able to print out the current state. So a deck should be a list of card objects. So in terms of data structures, we can use an array or array list, but here we'll choose to use array list since it provides more high level utility methods that'll make it a bit easier to write. Okay, so here we are in our editor. We have uh, our card class that we wrote before. We have deck tester and deck. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up our instance variables. In terms of a deck, we'll, we'll just need one instance variable to start, and that'll be a private array list of cards called deck. The next thing we'll do is we'll set up our constructor. So we'll say public deck. And then what do we need to do in the constructor? Well, we actually want to create the deck, create those 52 cards. So first we'll initialize the array list. We'll say deck equals new array list of cards. And then we'll use a for loop where we loop over both the ranks and the suits to create the cards. So we'll say for int rank equals two rank is less than or equal to ace, rank plus plus. So we're gonna loop through every rank, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then jack, queen, king, and ace. So for every rank, and then for every suit. And so suits start at hearts, suit is less than or equal to clubs, and then suit plus plus. So let's get some space down at the bottom so we can see. We'll say, card card equals new card and we'll give it the rank and the suit and then we'll say deck dot add card so that'll actually make our deck um, but it's hard to tell that that worked or if it worked so we'll write a utility method to print a deck so we'll say public void print so to print a deck we can say for card card in deck we'll say system dot out dot print line um, card so let's go into deck tester and we can see how that works so we'll say deck deck equals new deck deck dot print so let's run that And there you go, you can see we have our deck of cards. So um, that's a good start. Let's go back into deck. So what else does our deck need to be able to do? Well, we'll want a getter method because those are always helpful. And we'll say public array list of cards, get cards, and this will just return the deck. And then we'd like to be able to um, deal. We want to be able to deal a card. So how do we deal a card? Well, deal, we'll say public card uh, deal. And what deal will do is deal will uh, return deck.remove at zero. We'll just remove the first card in the deck. So we can actually test that out now. We could say card C equals deck dot deal and print out C, see what that is. So if that works correctly, it should be a two of hearts. Great. So now uh, we can make a deck. The deck has 52 cards. We can get the cards. We can deal. What else does our deck need to be able to do? The last key thing our deck should be able to do is shuffle. So let's say public void shuffle. So how are we gonna shuffle? Well, there's a bunch of ways to do this, but the way that we're gonna do it is loop through 
uh, every card in the deck. So we're going to go 52 times, and every time we're going to pick a random index, and then we're going to swap the card at the current index with the random index. So we're going to make 52 swaps. So we'll say for int i equals 0, i is less than deck dot size i plus plus. And then what we'll say is we'll get a random index. So we'll say random index equals randomizer dot next int of 52. And then we'll get the first card, x, and we'll say that is deck dot get of i. So that's the that's the current card. We'll say card y equals deck dot get at random index. And now using our utility methods in ArrayList, we'll swap these cards. So we'll say deck dot set at i to y and deck dot set at random index to x. So that should shuffle our deck. Let's go back to deck tester. And now what we'll do is we'll try and say test out the deck before with shuffling. So we'll say this is the deck before shuffling. Uh, we'll print out the deck and then we'll call deck.shuffle and then we'll say deck after shuffling deck.print. So let's try that out. So there you go, we have our deck before shuffling and that looks right. And then you can see our deck after shuffling, it's all mixed up. And so let's test one thing, we can try dealing uh, the top two cards. So let's try that. So we'll print out a little separator and then we'll say system.out.println deck.deal. And so we'll deal two cards. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so we have our deck before shuffling, then we have our deck after shuffling, and it starts off with Ace of Spades and Seven of Hearts. Then we come down and we can see those are the first two cards that we dealt. So this looks pretty good. This is how we're going to write our deck that we can use later on.